Hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the ADC functionality on your STM 8S microcontroller. That is, we'll be having two potentiometers by varying which we will give a variable analog voltage to two analog pins of the controller and we will display the digital value as well as the equivalent analog values on the LCD. So before we get started, the first thing that you should know is the ADC features on this microcontroller. So if you look into it, the STM8S103F3 controller has a 10-bit ADC with five multiplexed channels, meaning there are five pins on this controller which can do ADC functionalities. So these five pins will be the one that starts with EIN2, so that is PC4, and then EIN3, which is pin number 19, EIN4 on pin number 20, and EIN516 on pin number 213, respectively. So these are the pins that you can use for ADC. So with that known, let's look into the circuit diagram. Now, the circuit diagram is very similar that to the one that we used in the previous tutorial for interfacing the LCD with the STM 8S controller. The only thing that we have added are these two potentiometers, which I am showing you here. So these two potentiometers are connected between 5 volt and ground and it is connected to pin number 17 and pin number PC4 and PD6, which is AIN2 PC4 and AIN6 PD6. So uh, one more thing that I should tell you is if you're completely new, new to this tutorial, please get into our website Circuit Digest and just search for STM 8S. You will find all the tutorials that we have covered so far right from the first one which is the getting started, then the GPIO functionalities, the serial communication. If you want to program it with Arduino, there is a tutorial for that as well. And then you can also know how to interface the 16 cross 2 uh, LCD display play with the STM8 microcontroller. Now all that is already covered in previous tutorials so I will not be discussing on how this LCD will be working with our controller. Now with the circuit diagram part covered there is one more thing I need to tell you there. That is as you can see the potentiometer is connected between 5 volt and ground but your STM microcontroller is operating on 3.3 volt that is on this development board there is a voltage regulator on the back side which powers the microcontroller with 3.3 volts so the maximum voltage that your controller here in this setup uh, that it could measure is 3.3 volts but if you are using this IC separately and powering it with a 5 volt then you can read 5 volts as well so that means that when your ADC value is 1023 it means it the maximum voltage over there is 3.3 volts. Uh, I will also be connecting a multimeter like this which can measure the original uh, analog values, the original voltage from the potentiometer. So uh, as you can see on our microcontroller side we are reading it as uh, 1.832 volts but the actual voltage there that we are measuring with the multimeter is 1.837. Now uh, let me quickly go through the programming part as well. Again, if you're not sure how to use ST Visual Develop or the Cosmic C compiler, you should get into the getting started section to learn how to do that. Now make sure you have included all the source files as well as the header files. So what I have done is I have written a small header file for uh, using ADC with uh, STM 8S microcontroller. Now all these complete program along with the header files and source code can be found at the GitHub link. I will leave the link in the description box. Now if you see in the header section, uh, there is just one important function called uh, ADC read which we can use to read the analog voltage of any particular pin. Say for example, if we need to read the ADC voltage of AIN2 uh, over here, we just need to mention ADC read of AIN2. So what this function does is it defines all the uh, prerequisites like the channel number, uh, if we should use skimmer trigger, do we need external trigger. So uh, I won't be getting into details of all these. Again, there will be a link in the description which explains everything in detail. Uh, and uh, so let me just start with the main program. On the main program, if you come here, as I told you earlier, we'll be reading the ADC value and then we'll be converting it 
to uh, the actual voltage value. So uh, this was the function that we defined in the header file. So ADC underscore read of AIN2 will directly give you the value of uh, ADC on this variable. And then this value is multiplied with 3.226 to get the equivalent voltage value. Now how did this 3.2 uh, 3.226 comes is from dividing 3300 by 1023 because uh, 3.3 volts uh, in, I have converted to millivolts over here so 3.3 volts is the operating voltage of a controller as I told you earlier and 1023 is 2 to the power 10 because 10 bit resolution is what we have here. Now once we have measured the ADC value we'll be just displaying it uh, over here like this. Now what I will do is I will show you the actual hardware setup and uh, we, let's vary the value of these potentiometers and check how accurate they are to the actual measured values. Okay, here we are now in the hardware setup. As you can see, uh, I have uh, displayed both the digital value as well as the actual analog value. So right now it is reading between 560 to 570 and the voltage is 1.8 volt, which is same displayed here. I am measuring the voltage only from this potentiometer. As you can see, the lead is connected over here and the negative is connected to the ground. Uh, this potentiometer also does work, as you can see. If I vary it, the value of the second potentiometer also changes, but let's keep that in the maximum value. So this is just to demonstrate that we are able to do multiple ADCs at the same time. Now what I will do is I will vary this one. As you can see right now it is 0.29 over here, but we are displaying 0.3 and if we go up. We are getting for 1 volt, we are measuring around 0.9, which is again not bad. And further up, 1.7, and we are measuring 1.6. Now, the ADC values are uh, not very accurate because I'm not doing any uh, averaging or something like that. I'm just doing this to demonstrate to you how it works. So, that is it. As you can see, uh, if I go to the maximum extent, uh, the multimeter measures 5 volts but it displays only 3.3 because that is the maximum range of this ADC. So that is it guys. Hope this demonstration helped you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.